Hi, I'm Jeff from Clean Ease Cleaning Products, and today I'm going to show you how to seal a natural stone shower. Uh, the walls on this shower are porcelain. We're not going to seal the, you would never seal the porcelain tile because they're fire glazed, but you would seal the grout. Um, we're not going to do that in this video. We've done that in our grouties videos that you can see that. Um, we have that video somewhere on this page. I'm going to show you how to seal the floor because it is natural stone. This is tumbled marble. We clean this floor. We also have a ledge here that's just marble. Uh, we cleaned this yesterday and we're back to seal it today. Pretty simple stuff. This is water-based, very low odor, dries quickly. In a shower, I always recommend at least two coats at least once a year. Very harsh environment. Water is, everybody's di water is different. Uh, soaps, shampoos, lotions, whatever. Uh, oils from your body, very hard on these surfaces. Two coats at least once a year uh, is my recommendation. You just take your sealer and we put it into a bowl. You don't want to, oh, sorry. <laughs> we just put it into a regular bowl. It's water-based, we wash that out, and you have no problems with it. A small bucket, if you have it, a bowl, whatever, um, that's what we recommend putting it in. Take your brush that we sell, and it comes with your sealer if you bought the, uh, the upgrade. This thing is fantastic. We used to tell you, for years I was telling you, take any type of paintbrush and just tape it to the pole. Now you don't do that anymore. You just take this brush, screw it on, and you're good to go. This is great for grout lines. This is great for the, the tile. It really doesn't matter. Love this brush. It makes your job that much easier. Okay, let's show them how to do it, Ryan. So you just take your brush. Ready? Yeah. Dip it in to your sealer that we put into this bowl. And this is uh, sm relatively small tiles with the grout. So I would just go over the whole thing. Just brush it out. This brush holds a lot of sealer. You don't have to dip it in all too often. And just cover it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit for about five minutes and let it soak in to the grout and to the stone. Easy as that. I'm not going to show you how to do the whole thing because it's self-explanatory. Let it sit for about five minutes. We'll come back and I'll show you how to mop it off. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I just sealed this small section of stone, but I would take my mop as long as it's clean and really wring it out to where it's just slightly damp. Um, if you don't have a good clean mop, you can take a towel and just wipe off the excess, okay? You don't have to go hard over it. You just wanna wipe off the excess so it doesn't pool anywhere and then let it dry for a good 24 hours before you start using the shower. Simple as this. Ready? Just mopping it off. Any type of mop, microfiber mop, towel, and be done with it. Now let it sit. It's going to be dark because it's going to be wet. As long as, as soon as that dries, within 24 hours, probably sooner than that, but it could take up to 24 hours, you're good to go. If you want to put a second coat on like I recommend, I would wait about an hour in between coats. Let this one soak in real well. Go over it again. What that second coat is going to do is it's going to fill in. If you missed any spots, it's definitely going to fill that in, or it's going to fill. It's just going to fill in all those pores. This stone is really porous, so it's going to fill in those pores of that just like it is the grout. Um, and then have at it after 24 hours. Have at it. Thanks for watching.